Well, first, my first language was German because I lived with my grandmother. She couldn't speak Spanish. Then I spoke German till four years when I went to school. But I have the Chilean culture. And now, after 30 years in the United States, I have the Hispanic culture. I, I feel that culture. My parents fled from Europe to Chile in 1939, at the end of 39. And I was born in Chile. Then I was always, I, I felt as a Chilean. And I did a program for the Chilean for 24 years. After 24 years, I came to the United States and I learned about the Hispanic community. When I arrived, there were recognized 9 million Hispanics. Today, about 57 million. We are the biggest minority. And we have our own needs, desires, dreams. That's why we have to work for that community. I know that the highest percentage are people from Mexico. But then we have people from Puerto Rico, from all the countries from Central and South America. And this is a melting pot of cultures, but we have something in common, the language. That's why when I started, I had the tagline, separate by the distance, united by the language. We can com communicate to each other because we have the same language. Even there are differences in each country. But when you arrived to the United States, you were born here. But somebody that is coming like a, a foreigner, an uh, immigrant, at the moment when he arrives here, he starts to be a Hispanic. Maybe the kids. They're going to have some relation with other Hispanic from different countries. Uh, they ha they're coming, most of them, with the American dream. There is discrimination. There's so many subjects that you have to count in the, uh, when you are representing the Hispanic community. 